All right, everyone, so here we are again. I'm so excited to try some orange juice out of a vending machine. I've never seen one in my life. Whoa. Somebody took the bill acceptor with them. Um, but I mean, we're doing this again, so we might as well come back and get dessert out of a cupcake vending machine. What is up everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see right now, we are in the beautiful city of Long Beach, California. So we're actually here for a couple days for a business trip. Uh, we're doing something top secret that I can't tell you guys what it is until it actually happens. Are you at least gonna give them a hint? Should I give them a hint? I think you should. We're gonna be opening up a store. That's it. That's it. But anyways, today's video is gonna be a quick, regular, just vlog. We might go get some food. We might go to the beach, maybe. Did you bring your swimsuit? Of course. I think there's actually like an orange juice vending machine that they sell freshly squeezed orange juice. Can you believe that? No. It's weird, like I actually can't believe it. We're gonna see if it's good, if it's cold, and is it worth it? Because I actually have no idea how much it's gonna be. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little vlog. If y'all do, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys wanna see other vlogs like this, let us know. We gotta show them our favorite spot that we always, always go we to. We have to. We gotta so, get it out there. It is the go-to place. Go-to breakfast. So yeah, let's go get some food. Let's go. All right, everyone. So right now it's about nine in the morning, and you guys know for breakfast, you know, people normally eat like some eggs with like a cup of orange juice. Uh, but obviously, you can't get eggs from a vending machine, or at least not here. But I do know a place that sells freshly squeezed orange juice out of the vending machine. I know it sounds kind of weird. Do you think it's gonna be cold? Like, is it, is it gonna be good? It has to be cold. I wonder if it's gonna be good. Like, it's just weird. Like, how does it squeeze it? And it's just, I don't know. It makes no sense. Do you no think sense. they like, add like sugar and stuff? I don't know. We'll see if we can actually find the machine. So yeah, with that being said, let's walk around and let's see if we can actually find it. A few moments later. Guys, so the only bad thing about malls here in LA is that they're so huge. I mean, we, we could technically ask somebody. <laughs> Do you think they would even know? I mean, yeah, they should. I mean, if, wait. Wait a minute. I think we found it. No way. Wait a minute. Guys, I think that's actually it. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm so excited. Let's go down there right now. All right, everyone, so here we are again. I'm so excited to try some orange juice out of a vending machine. I've never seen one in my life. So real quick, let's check it out. Look, you can tell this is where the straw comes out. So it probably gives you a straw to drink it. And obviously, this is where the orange juice comes out of. It's a pretty small, small square. So the cup has to be small. It better not be like $5. Yeah, no, we're not gonna buy it if it's $5. I lift it up and I can smell the oranges. Really? It smells good. Look, you can even see the cups right there. The oh, little, yeah. The little tube. Oh, look. Also, if you guys take a closer look, y'all can see the oranges inside. I wonder how long they've been there. I wonder how it works. Like, does it crush it? Like, does it... It does, doesn't really show it. Or, like, does it peel it? <laughs> Who knows? Wait, also, what I've noticed about this vending machine is that it doesn't take cash. It's only, only cards. Really? It doesn't have a bill acceptor. The little coin slot is covered, so you can't even put coins in there. It has a button, I don't know why, if you can't even get your money back. Is this a button? <laughs> but anyways, with that being said, it's breakfast. It only takes card, so I'm gonna put my card in there. And, wait, what? You don't even know how much it's gonna be. Wait, I put it in, it says remove card, and it says cash only. You guys can't even see it, but it says cash only. How am I supposed to put cash in there? No. No. What? Hey guys, look. What is this? Can they see it? Guys, no. the machine is out of service. We took a $50 Uber ride here just to get some orange juice out of this machine and it doesn't work. Oh my gosh. Now, what are we gonna do? I'm sorry, mamas, but no breakfast today. What? Well, what am I supposed to do? Open it up and fix it? Yes, that's exactly what you should do. You know wait, what? Wait. Pull out your keys. Do we, did we bring our vending machine keys? No. We didn't, right? We could have opened it up and just like grab the oranges and squeeze it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and do the work for the machine? Well, I just want some orange juice. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want some orange juice. That's all I wanted. Out of a vending machine, not from anybody else. 
So like the video if you guys want us to come back again. I'm sorry. I know you guys wanted to see us try the orange juice and see if it was good. How you doing? Hey man. All right, everyone, so right now we are in downtown LA. We're about to get some breakfast. Uh, I think we're at the Grand Central Market, and every single time we come to LA, we always have to come here, because it's literally the best breakfast ever. It's literally called just Exla, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know if I have to like bleep that out or not. But don't make it weird. That's how, that's how it's called. Thank you. This actually Le looks pretty good. I know, I got a whole bunch of egg. Yours barely had, wait, what is no, yours No, it's have? just the bun's pretty big, look. Open it up. <laughs> That's how you walk. That's how you look. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. We've been waiting for this moment literally since the last time we came here. <laughs> it is so good. All right, now time for mine's. Obviously, mine is gonna be a lot better than hers because I always get better things. That is not true. Look at the bun on the sun. Look how shiny this bun looks. Guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm literally so sorry. Where are my manners? Uh, you guys know I always gotta feed y'all too. So I want everyone to open your mouth because you guys are gonna get a bite too. All right, you hear me? Y'all ready? Open your mouth in three, two, and... You're devouring Dang, chill it. Out. I just said one bite. <laughs> Guys, so even though this is so good, we got two sandwiches and two cups of orange juice, but y'all don't even want to know how much it was. Ooh. So for everything all together with taxes, exactly 30 bucks. So it wasn't worth it or what? Uh, honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I don't know, because it's good. I don't know. <laughs> she thought the food tasted good, but I thought she tasted better. I get there. <laughs> All right, everyone, so we just finished eating. We just left the Grand Central Market, which is right back there. But anyways, right behind the market, there's actually like a train right here behind it. And I think this might be the world's smallest train because it only fits like five, six people. You go all the way up there, you pay like two bucks, and they literally just bring you down here. Like it's only like what? Like doesn't even take five minutes to get that's down. That's like maybe like 100 feet. It's like a 20 second ride, uh, but it's pretty cool. I mean, we're going to try to go up there. I'm not even sure if they're open right now. Don't tell me those are the steps we have to take to go up there. Yeah, we actually have to go through all of these steps just to ride it. I told you, you shouldn't have <laughs> skipped leg day. <laughs> oh, it is moving. Look. Here we go. Here goes nothing. What are you doing, baby? I'm taking a break. I'm tired. From what? We've only gotten up two steps. That's really all we've been up to? Yes! Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> it feels like 30 minutes already. <laughs> Alright, for real, let's go up there. And, okay, this time for real, we made it. Guys, look at the view. It's, it's kind of worth it after all those steps. It's pretty. Just for uh, for two. All the way to the front. Guys, I'm sweating so much, but we finally made it into the train. Look how, look how tiny this thing is. We're finally moving. Look. We're the only ones here. Baby, we're going to crash into that train. Oh, it's gonna go sideways. 
And that was it. How long was it? Like 15 seconds? <laughs> 20 seconds? Damn. Uh, you trying to go up the stairs again? If you carry me. I'm not. <laughs> How about you carry me? What? I wanna drown inside this. I I I wanna drown inside this. Go down an eye like I I cap. I I I ain't never had a vibe this vibrant. They were all so shiny with their three eye vision. Alright everyone, so right now it's about like 6 30 p.m. And pretty much for the last hour, we were down the street on Ro Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive. It's funny because we got on the Uber. I told him we were going to Ro Rodeo Drive. I'm from Texas, so I said Rodeo. And uh, <laughs> he was like, Rodeo? And I was like, oh, yeah, Rodeo. So, of course, we're in Beverly Hills right now. What's the best place to get some dessert out of a vending machine? Then an actual cupcake vending machine. You guys know we've actually been here before. Um, but, I mean, we're doing this again. So, we might as well come back and get dessert out of a... Cupcake vending machine. Without they, milk? They actually call it ATM for some reason. It's a vending machine, all right? It's not an ATM. Mm -hmm. So if this is your first time seeing this machine, you can basically order like a bunch of different types of cupcakes. For example, they got black and white, they got chocolate marshmallow, they got red velvet, vanilla, vanilla milk chocolate. They literally have so many. I think they even have some dog treats down here. Look at that. Ooh, is that what you want, baby? You want a dog treat? Is that what my baby wants? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to try like the basic you, chocolate. Oh, what a basic person! The vanilla milk chocolate. Yes. All right, so that one four fifty plus tag. All right, so yeah, just one, add another. You know what? I'm not gonna be basic like you, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the lemon coconuts. That's something different. Really? You're not gonna like it. Make sure you get my credit card number. <laughs> All right, so I think it's going through. It says, okay, it says approve. Your purchase is on the way. Ooh. So perfect. So this one's actually yours. Look at that. That's the chocolate one right there. Apparently, they make these fresh every single day. I don't know if I believe that because that wall was just like completely stacked with cupcakes. But apparently, they do. Oh, this one smells good. I, I literally forgot which one I got. Lemon nasty coconut. Lemon coconuts. Oh, it smells good. It smells like coconut. All right. All right, so I guess here we go. Let me try the coconut lemon cupcake and let's see if it's actually good. All right. Oh my God. The frosting on this is so good. That's all you ate. Yeah, I only bit the frosting, but I'm saying this frosting is so good. <laughs> this cute. coconut though, it actually is good. I can taste the lemon too. This is not dry at all. It's actually like pretty moist. So we're gonna see if she likes it. Just give it a bite. Ooh, somebody likes it. No, somebody doesn't like it. I can't tell. Oh, you do like it. <laughs> You know what? I'm not gonna lie, for a lemon coconut cupcake, I would give it a 10. Really? I would actually, cause I can't imagine something better than that. Like what would make it better? If the coconut was toasted. Alright y'all, so next up is the chocolate cupcake with sprinkles, uh, which apparently my girlfriend got the wrong one. But anyways, give it a bite and tell us how it is. Ooh. I think I like that one better. Really? Oh, no way. That was a baby bite. What are you going to do with that? Saving that for later, baby? Yeah. For <laughs> breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, out of 10, I would probably give this one like a good solid 8. I mean, it's a simple cupcake, normal, it's good, so I'll give it an 8. Not bad, not bad. Day 2. 
All right, everyone, so it's been a couple hours, and the reason why this whole video is basically like a vlog is because in the beginning, this video was supposed to be eating from vending machines for 24 hours in LA. And guys, trust me, whenever I say this, we spent like $200 on Ubers going from place to place to place. And every single place that we get to, either the machines don't work, either they're not there no more because we found them on Google. So we basically wasted our whole day yesterday looking for vending machines. So real quick, we're gonna go inside of this laundromat and just see if they got machines. I'm curious to see like the prices here in California. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be a lot more expensive than Texas, right? Yeah, more than likely. Detergent? I don't know, baby. I'm pretty hungry. I'll probably even eat that. Are you in the mood for some aerial order powder? Sounds so good. Or some Tide? Wait, where are the Tide pods? I heard those were good. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that they have a sorting machine we can at least buy a drink, but never mind. Somebody... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Somebody took the bill acceptor with them. They must really wanted their change back. You think somebody you think somebody actually took it? There's no way you could have like pulled it out from the front. I mean, why else would they leave it like that? They clearly tried to put tape over it so nobody would go through it. I mean, there's nobody in this laundromat. Damn, they really don't have machines. If any of you guys live in LA, specifically on Wa Walnut Avenue, and you have a vending machine business, I mean, I guess you could come here and offer them like a snack machine and a soda machine that actually works. Um, I don't know if you're gonna make money, but it's worth a try. <laughs> but it's worth a try. I mean, it could get busier later on. Let's go see if we can find a different place. Guys, no way. We literally walked down the street and there was another laundromat, but they don't even have machines either. Like, people, vendors over here are slacking. Yeah, There's so many course. locations you can put machines in. This is exactly what I'm talking about and why we couldn't make the video yesterday. Because there is no machines anywhere. Day three. Guys, look how small this elevator is. Literally so small. He's like, you're just gonna close it's in. It's kinda scary. Oh my god, did you feel that? Yeah, it's like, they just dropped us. I know, like, it, I don't know, it's kinda scary. Especially like in elevators this small, like you never know like, what could happen, you know, like. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. The lights actually went on. Baby, are you okay? Baby. Baby, stop messing with me. Say something. God, I'm sorry. I'm gonna punch in your face if you don't say something. What the f***? What the f***? Oh my god, guys. My girlfriend literally just disappeared. Guys, I think something's here. I keep hearing something. <laughs> 